take a look outside right now. South Texas College there in McAllen. Clear skies and 76 degrees at this hour. As we see temperatures across the valley are dropping into the lower 70s at this hour. 70 in Raymondville and Harlingen. 72 there in Brownsville as well as Westaco. 73 at this hour in Rio Grande City. And we do have now that frontal boundary now south of the valley. But we could still see uh, some shower activity here later on tonight. And we're already starting to see that uh, fizzling up here at this hour up in um, Hidalgo County, San, uh, Samuel Lynn seeing that uh, down towards Fayesville and uh, we can see a little bit more shower activity before the night is done uh, here. So let's take a look at future cast and you can see there there's two o'clock in the morning some showers down towards Brownsville down towards West Dakota. and again this is more isolated in nature and the models have kind of backed off some uh, from the heavier rains that were showing earlier but again we can't rule out some stray showers here overnight in towards uh, tomorrow morning for you. Let's take a look at uh, the projected rainfall totals. So again, it's it, much of the, the models aren't even picking up in the big cities. So we'll kind of see, have to see where these uh, showers uh, get going here the rest of the night. But we're looking about a 30% chance of rain showers the next few hours, dropping down a 20% chance uh, there by 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll continue to fall those rain chances through the morning hours. Uh, tomorrow, I think night, tomorrow afternoon is going to be pretty nice. So uh, looking at uh, 63 degrees tonight. Again, scattered th showers, thunderstorms out there. 30 percent chance of rain and again we have seen some of those now just forming up in Hidalgo County now the next few uh, excuse me out the door forecast tomorrow can't rule out again a few stray showers to start the morning nothing widespread uh, but just kind of keep that in mind there but in terms of temperatures you're looking at 84 in Harlingen as well as in Brownsville in the afternoon hours how about 85 in McAllen 85 also out in Rio Grande City, north winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Now, if you're looking to start the weekend early, you want to head off to the island, looking at 78 degrees there. Again, if you can't rule out a few stray morning showers, otherwise partly sunny skies there uh, with Gulf temperatures right at 75 degrees. And then looking ahead, look at the weekend. Sunny skies Saturday, mostly sunny skies Sunday and even Monday. Now, it will warm up a little bit as the weekend progresses, but still looking at relatively low humidity. Well, the next, uh, basically the next three days, we will start to see that humidity returning, though, as the week moves on, as temperatures rise back into the upper 80s uh, by Thursday. But other than maybe a few showers tomorrow morning, it's clean and clear with plenty of sunshine out there, though we could use a little bit of rain, especially there in the upper valley where we do have that moderate drought out in Stark County, though improved off of last week where we did have a, a lot of rain across the valley. But uh, there's that seven-day forecast uh, for you. But again, you get a few showers maybe tonight, tomorrow morning for you. And then, yeah, looking nice, 77 degrees there Saturday, sunny skies, 80 degrees, that valley average temperature on Sunday, mostly sunny, and really mostly sunny through the rest of the period there, though, again, warming temperatures and a little bit more humidity by the middle of next week here, guys.